Welcome to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about the My uh, Presets tab or section in LMMS. We're going to be learning a little bit more about instrument plugins and how to create our own custom sounds from these instruments and then to save that as a preset. And also we're going to learn how to replace an instrument sound in a song with a different sound. Uh, so to get started, let's actually bring in, if we go here to My Projects and go to Demos, we can bring in this Angry Llama uh, song, and it's going to just bring in this song that we've heard before. Here's what it sounds like. So if we want to just listen to this bass line, that's what this sounds like. If we want to replace that with a different, not even a different instrument necessarily, because the instrument it's using right now is this one, it has this icon. See the icon's the same, this like rainbow looking llama. The instrument's called LB302. And it sounds different. So this one here is what it sounds like. But if we open up the one right below it, it opens in a separate window and it sounds like this. Oh, it's on mute. So they sound quite different, don't they? even though it's the same thing, LB302, and that's because they're just configured differently. If you look here, this one's using this type of wave, this one's using this type of wave, and these dials are set to different places. Uh, so you can actually come and bring in, we can make this be our own sound if we want to. Let's bring in this Bit Invader one that we've looked at before, and we can just left click and drag it over top of this bass line, and it replaces it, and now when we play it, it'll sound different. And then we can come over and actually change this. So we can change it however we want to. Maybe let's do this one here. And maybe we like this configuration, so we didn't do too much changing to it, but maybe we like this and we want to save this as a default uh, so we can get to it later. We, we just love this sound. We can just come up here and click on this save icon and it brings up a window and we can actually save this. So we'll call it Bit Invader. We'll call it uh, underscore test. And then we click save. And now that saves that, that we can always get to recall this again in the future. So maybe we bring over something else over top of it, like this organic, we bring it in instead. And then it sounds like this, but we just don't like that sound. And we wanna get back that other one, but if we drag it in, it's gonna be different and we forget the settings that we set. We can go to the presets, which is where we actually save that too. So if we go to my presets, we notice all these different uh, folders are the same names as these different instrument plugins. Bit Invader, we've got this Mallets, we've got some different ones here. And the one we're, we, we did, well, we did the Bit Invader, didn't we? So if we come down to my presets, we just go to the folder for Bit Invader, and then we don't see ours just yet, but if we close out of the program and re-get into it, it'll be there, or we can click this icon down here, it just refreshes. So we click the refresh icon. Now, if we go in here, we should see ours that we made. Um, and what was it called? Something test, something underscore test. Is it in here? Oh, very top. Bit invader underscore test. So this is our sound that we created. If we drag and drop it in and put it over top, now we're back to using our custom sound. Pretty cool, huh? And it works with any different instrument. Any of these instruments have the option to save. If we drag this one in this Patman, and open it, we can always just click the save icon right here. Uh, so yeah, that's basically using the instrument plugins. Go ahead and get familiar with it, create your own custom sound. You can do it with, uh, with the kicker as well and with different parts of your bass line. But go ahead and create a custom sound and then save it as a preset and make sure you're familiar with that. And then also um, go ahead and load some of these different presets. You can just click on it to hear what it sounds like and then bring it in if you like it. You can hover and bring it in, or if you wanna use it as its own uh, separate track, you can just drag it in below and it's a brand new track that you can then come in and create a, a composition with. So I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next video.